All right, good morning. I'm trying to do two things today. First being, I want to keep messing with this audio. So DJI mic, Sony a7 IV camera, and I'm, I'm not happy with the audio. I don't think I've ever been happy with the audio. I keep messing with the, with the settings and whatnot. I spent some time last night researching and I changed the settings once again. Basically, I severely reduced the, the gain on the camera and I increased it on the transmitter and the receiver. And then more importantly, I want to see, I want to get some more time with, with this Rupes machine. I kind of want to get a good test to see, you know, how the batteries perform on just a normal, you know, single step polish. So I'm going to do the Rupes system. So this is the, the fine polish that came with the system. These are older pads, but 21 HLR or HLR 21. We're going to do a single step and see how the batteries do, you know, both for my own kind of curiosity, as well as this car just kind of needs a tune up. It hasn't been, you know, I've kind of hodgepodge some, <laughs> some polishing and coating replacements, but the original ceramic I did on this was um, Fine Lab Ceramic Ultra. But this is a this is a 2018 X5 um, 50i, 35,000 miles, uh, Glacier White Metallic. We'll set a stopwatch. So I got two batteries fully charged. We're starting now. But I'm going to treat this just like I do the normal machine. Like I'm not going to give any you know handicap to this. But we're going to polish at speed four. This is where the big machine's not helping. Whatever, we're gonna make it work. Let's see, six minutes in, still full power. That's four. Okay, so 13 minutes to do the full hood, right? So four section passes. <clears throat> and let's see, our battery life is... Oh, so we lost one bar. Let's show it. So we use one bar for like 13 minutes. If we extrapolate that for the period <clears throat> or for the full, you know, four bars, assuming, you know, like a linear power band, right? So, so 52 minutes. Now that's a little above um, what, what Rupes says. Rupes had 40 minutes. Um, now I am taking this pretty easy, right? Speed four no pressure, um, right? So, so that's a huge difference than what I did on the Macan. All right, so the Macan, I was at four and a half, moderate pressure, um, wool pads, those have a higher drag, so, so the machine's working further. And I'm, and I'm doing much more passes. I was, you know, some of the areas I was going over, you know, two, three times. So that's why it took a full a full battery just to do the hood, whereas this only took one power bar. My, my expectation is I should be able to do a full side, which would be pretty, pretty good, right? So if you could do a hood and a full side with one battery, then that's not bad. I want to see how far I can get on this one battery. And I'm also going to track when the power starts to fall off. But big machine, speed four. Four. 
Same three power bars. Four. Oh, that's interesting, right? So, <clears throat> so far we're still pretty linear, right? About the same time as it took me to do this door, as the hood, and we also dropped one power bar. So we got two power bars left. <clears throat> so, question is, when is power gonna start to fall off? I think we should be good for this door and we should be good for that. But let's keep going. I'm gonna switch pads. This is starting to get a little soft. So one pad, two pan, oh. A hood, a door, and a fender. All right, so I stopped it at 924. We're gonna reset, and we're gonna start again. Same thing, we're gonna do four. Four, we got one left. That's four. How do we do? Oh, seven, that was a little faster. Seven, I thought I was at like nine. Ugh. I feel like I'm rushing. All right, we're still at two bars, that's interesting. So no drop in power, the thing's doing, you know, the same on this as it was on the hood. So, so that's good to hear. Whoa, here we go. Huh, oh, I just read, oh, I just read one, now it's back on two. Okay, where are we at? Yeah, we're definitely on one there. One left. Now we're at. Th the next piece I want to watch out for is when does we start losing power? So far, no drop on power. I think it's fine. It's, it's fallen off. So we're still in the last power bar. I wanna kill this battery. Let's try the side skirts. And actually, I didn't do the lower door. Good, we're gonna, where are we at? I kind of lost track of my timing. So I'm at 15 minutes. We're gonna finish this side, that's pretty good. All right, we're still at one bar. Oh, it's flashing, Let's see what happens. It's fallen off, but it's, Oh, that's it. Finally, finally died. That's good though. See the flashing bar, blue lights. Let's see. So we're at, we're at 18 minutes now. 
that's pretty good, right? So, which is kind of what I was thinking when I, when I was doing the Macan, right? This is, this is a very easy polish on the machine, right? But I, you know, apart from, you know, a side skirt on a door, well, and the top, but you know, I got the bulk of, of, of one side plus the hood done on one battery, single step polish. So that's, that's good. But 18, yeah, it's about 40 minutes. It makes sense. So if the other battery was dead when I started this, it would have been fully charged as of now. I like it. All right, final battery count is three, right? So that actually worked out very similar to the Macan. So the Macan, I did the additional cutting step. So, so that was the fourth battery. I'm happy with that. You know, I, th I think that's a very reasonable amount of batteries and run time, you know, to single step a, I don't know what, mid-size SUV. All right, but this thing's in really good shape. There's no drama with the paint. That's why that polish was plenty. The rest of the car is coated. We're just gonna finish up this hood and I guess talk about, you know, kind of final remarks on, you know, my second, my second time with the, with the Rupes. Now, I think this is a very good, you know, indication of what is a realistic kind of scope of work for that machine, at least given two batteries. You know, single step polish, you know, is, was, was perfect. Like there's no, you know, range anxiety with the batteries. I, I could do my normal, you know, process without having to make any you know, adjustments. I think that's where I want to try like a, a, like a true two-step because if it's going to take a battery, a panel, then that's not enough time, at least with two batteries. You need a third battery at least. But, you know, apart from the battery stuff, the the smoothness of the machine is nice. The weight is nice. The, the sound is nice. You know, the DA beats you up. That's why, you know, I, I get fatigued using the DA for extended periods. That's, I think that, that's another reason why I like the rotary. You know, just the, the smoothness of the rotary is, 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 a, is a welcome you know, treat relative to, like even the Mark III, which is a great machine, it, it's just, it, it vibrates, it's noisy. You know, I think you get used to it, but when you experience something a little better, I think it's, you know, I think it's tough to go back, which, which kind of makes me nervous to, you know, pull out the Mark III again, you know, maybe just blast my, arms and the numbness but I don't have any intentions of selling any machines not just yet you know I the only machines I would sell like I have a melee that I've used twice I don't like gear driven and I have my old mark II, my 15 mark II, that's just sitting in a bag up there I always held on to that just for a you know kind of a backup but I'd, I'd sell either one of those without thinking about it. This is um, Infinite Type 1. It's nice to get, you know, all fresh coating on the car, get it all consistent. It was a bit of a mess as I kind of tooled around with this thing. You know, as more folks get the Rupes in their hands, I'll, I'll, I'll be curious to see what, like, It'd be nice to see if like Brian from Apex Detail gets it. 
you know, I don't think Mike Phillips is going to make the switch. He's a big flex guy. He's a big rotary guy, and then he likes the 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 flex three four zero one to refine. Like if you're trying to look for a, at least like the detailing videos I watch, I don't like a, I don't watch a whole lot, but you know, Mike Phillips, I've been following him for years, right? So he was at Auto Geek forever it seemed. He has a short stint at 3D, and then lately he's, he's at Dr. Beasley's. I think that's a great fit for him. You know, it, it appears he's still doing the same thing. Like, you know, he's teaching classes. He's, you know, he's just using different products now. But he, he does really well with kind of, you know, explaining exactly what he's doing. You know, especially me with, like, when I first started rotary, or learning the rotary, it was, it was all his old videos. You know, he's, he's got decades of videos. You know, some of his, some of his pop, most popular videos date back, you know, 12 years. You know, but it's all, it's all relevant. You know, like, nothing's really changed. Like, the chemicals have changed, but the machines hasn't, haven't changed. But um, yeah, the Dr. Beasley, check out his channel. Mike Phillips does great stuff. And he's a teacher, so he doesn't, like, there's no fluff, there's no, that, there's no BS with his, with his approach, which I like, you know. He's not trying to sell you anything. He's just trying to teach a technique. But, okay. That's about it. We'll show this car off. I need to finish the inside. I'm not going to film that, but but this is the final look. Yeah, you know, this car's in great shape. I think one of my more favorite features of this car, you know, BMW always puts these monster wheels on it. All right, look at this thing. It's a 315 on the rear. It looks good. It gives it a presence.